In 1883, land was reserved for Cummeragunja Station on the New South Wales side of the Murray River. Cummeragunja became a prospering farming operation with a thriving village, but increased bureaucratic control, the policy of absorption and dispersal, and the introduction of the 1910 Aboriginal Act, which saw the removal of young men of haste or lighter caste from their homes to be sent to Aboriginal Protection Board's training institutions, precipitated the demise of Kamaragunja. Those who moved near Marutna built shacks on the banks of the Goulburn River, an area known as the Flats. The Victorian Government in 1955, with the newly formed Aborigines Welfare Board, responded to the lack of basic amenities, poverty and poor general living conditions in the Flats and similar settlements by appointing Charles McLean to conduct a three-month inspection of Aboriginal housing in Victoria. The Aboriginal needs to be absorbed into the community. But how can he be absorbed until he learns to live like us? I will recommend assimilation in my report. It is a vexed issue to be sure, but someone must take leadership. First, the housing problem must be fixed. After all, how can the children study in the evening if there's no electric light? Yes. Yeah, I'll do all I can. But in the meantime, we need you need to rally yourselves. You need to speak to your local MPs, form a delegation, maybe collect some petitions, write letters, you know. Inform yourself. Knowledge is power, ladies. Yes. Yes! Thank you for the cup, Mrs. Dear. Mmm, something smells good. It's just time for... Please, help yourself. Marvellous, quite a treat. Thank you. You're welcome. Do come again. Yeah. Do come again. Well, my lordy, I was nervous. What is he here for and why is he checking us out? And who is he? Never you mind. Man, why do you always treat me like a child? That man, he's... He's from the government. He's writing a report. A report, like a mark out of a hundred. Something like that. Will they build us our own house, like you're always on about? Perhaps. The following is an extract from the 1957 McLean report. On these two areas, at Marutna, live about 59 adults and 107 children, in most squalid conditions. The humpies are mostly constructed of old timber, flattened kerosene tins and hessian, usually with some kind of petition to separate bedroom from living room. They are not weatherproof, have urban floors, very primitive cooking arrangements and no laundry or bathing facilities except for the river, from which all water is drawn by buckets and carted for distances up to half a mile. Come in. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, please take a seat. And uh, Mrs... Mrs Len Banks. Mrs Banks. You're inquiring about a loan, perhaps? Oh, no. It's about my youngest, Dolly. And she? Pardon? Oh, pretty face. But I'm still not sure why you're here. The teleposition, of course. I don't think so. But she's just completed her leading certificate, the first in the family, with real good grades, and top of her class in algebra. She'd be a fine asset. Here's her school report. See all A's and B's. And look, and she won this, the first and best in women's basketball. Well... It's all very impressive. What I'm wondering is how she would fit in. She'd fit in fine. In a job such as this, reliability is important. I'm wondering how she would get to town each day. She has a bicycle. She's on time for school. Look. For punctuality. Splendid. Now, rapport with our customers is important. Uh, sorry. 
um, rapport means... Getting along, making people feel comfortable like. Yes, uh, Mrs Banks, are you a customer of this bank? Well, no. I've never been in one of these before. A bank manager's office? A bank. But everyone needs safe. You put your pennies in here, when, you, when they add up to one pound, you bring them to the bank and we put them into a savings account and we write it in the book. It helps you save your money for something special and you know that your money is safe. Just like a jam tin? Just like a jam tin. That's all. No, the trainee position for my dolly. To be honest, Mrs. Banks. She'd be an asset. She's a hard worker. She knows all about hard work. She's honest. She's polite. She deserves a break. One little break. Are you going to be the one to offer her that break, sir? <sighs> Why not? Please add her name to an address to this list. Oh, I beg your pardon. Mrs. Banks? Oh, fountain pens are a little hard to use, aren't they? Your daughter's full name and address? Dolores Alice Banks. 